Hello everyone, this is GamePro24X, and just a very quick disclaimer, something went wrong when I was recording this session, and it didn't take, it didn't record any audio whatsoever, so what I decided to do was just have the background noise of the helicopter when you're in the ACC play out throughout this, throughout this entire video. That way it'll just eliminate the awkward silence, and it won't bother you guys as much. Again, I apologize for that, and now without further ado, this is the newest method that I've found out so far. So ever since I discovered Infinity Farming, I've been experimenting and testing new ways I can use that similar method to benefit me in the game. And this is one of them. So before you do anything, make sure you're not doing any online dispatch missions and make sure you go and save your current legit file somewhere else. I'm going to save it into the cloud storage because I'm more comfortable doing that. You can choose to do the USB if you want but all you have to do right now is just <clears throat> make sure it's saved somewhere else then after that go ahead and start the game the method that i'm going to call this is going to be the phantom deployment unit because of how it operates and you'll see exactly what i'm talking about and it will make a lot of sense when you actually understand what happens behind the scenes So right now, currently, there's a few missions that I want to do that will reward me S plus staff after three days or so. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that and probably get some extra materials if I want to as well. So just choose whatever you want and pick whoever you want to send out. It does not matter. All right, so now we're going to check our staff. Now, I'm pretty sure most of you already know this, but whenever you send staff out on dispatch missions, they have a little X in their name, meaning that they're gone and you can't use them when you're trying to deploy or anything like that. And when they return, they're subject to being injured or, you know, just being killed in the process as well. So after you have sent your people out, exit the game and now go into the area that you copied your legit file into and copy that back right into the console. What we're doing right now is we're going back to the point where we just before we actually started sending soldiers out. So as we can see here, the server still says that we have staff that are currently out right now. But when we go down to staff management, nobody in my entire staff is actually out. So the game still thinks that I sent people out. But right now, because we just loaded a game before we did all that, the game doesn't think or the game won't ever take anything from you. And every time people come back, you'll always get your rewards. No, ever, no reports of anyone getting hurt or anything like that. So technically, you're, it's like you're sending people out that don't exist. Or when they come back, it's like the game can't figure it out that they belong here or not. However, there's only one drawback to this, and that is if you try to send out more units after you have done this method, you'll get this error message that won't let you do it. However, don't be afraid. As soon as all the dispatch units are over, then you will be able to send out more staff and do it all over again. But if you did do this method and you checked on your staff and they still have X's on their names, that means you missed something. That means you didn't copy your current game over or your, your old save over into the console in time. So all you have to do is just cancel the mission by pressing triangle or whatever console you have and cancel the mission entirely. It will remove all the X's that are on your staff and you can try it again. Um, just be sure you follow those steps nice and closely and you'll be able to do this all the time. It's not as effective as like doing FOB events and get buying S plus staff. However, this is something nice that you can just have running on the side when you're not doing anything. And that's what I've been doing this whole time. And I feel bad because I haven't gone around to showing you guys this. And yeah, it, a lot of other stuff has come up that I had to do videos on. But hopefully, 
This will get you guys some extra S plus staff on the side or some extra materials or whatever you need. And you never have to lose anyone ever again. So that is about it. I hope this helped you guys out. This is GamePro24X and I'll see you guys later.